Hello and welcome to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays the Bard's Tale Trilogy Remastered. I'm your host Lord Fenton and today's a dark and gruesome edition of the Bard's Tale 2 The Destiny Knight. We're going to go into the Grey Crypts. That's right. The uh, dungeon that does not allow magic at all since the entire dungeon is anti-magic. So let's get to the wise man and see what he has to say. Yes, I'm going to spend all this money for you folks in the video so you don't have to in case the hints are really useless. So we'll get there first before going to the actual dungeon. Alright, so here's the sage and I'm going to type the word gray crypt. You're supposed to find it in the last dungeon but I'm not going to drag you all through that. I'll give you the answer instead. Yeah, see it tells you no magic spells works inside. He doesn't tell you location. Now, I'm a nice guy. I'm going to show you where that's at because that's the whole point of the video. It's a 6 one uh, segment and the Great Crypts are there. So let's uh, keep on going and go find it. So I'll give everybody the pass for Ethan. Alright, we're close by the Great Crypts. It's in the wilderness. No town holds it. Trust me, when you, we go inside, you're going to see why, and why the tile has a special red lettering. It's owed to that. Alright, normally there's supposed to be a password. It's either gray or gray crypt. You type one of those two in when you uh, take the patches. Uh, Nom there will ask you that question. If you don't answer right, you get kicked out. You answer it correctly, you get this message. The devs took some great time and a great job of actually, uh, once you type it in, it's all set. See? And that's the uh, gatekeeper he just lets us in since I was farming it so let's talk about this dungeon alright great Chris real quick this is a anti-magic dungeon the entire dungeon's anti-magic plus it looks like Chucky Freddy and Jason and all the uh, horror movie icons had a party in here and there's a whole bunch of teens in there guess what happened to the teens that are residents here but seriously uh, watch out for living deads because they could uh, possess you and some of the monsters will poison you and even a few of them will turn you to stone. So I am going to try to run from these encounters because if I don't run from these encounters then bad things happen. See? Now I decided to bail. Here's my advice. I would level in Oscon's fortress and then just blow through the Grey Crypts because it's dangerous unless you're really desperate like I was at the time get the no spin ring yes that drops here Angar's eye Angus eye drops here too I would farm a few of those too I would probably say more like the destiny stones your uh, target place since you can cast magic and get out of there of course this one no you have to go through the entire dungeon for it so we got past the first part and here's what the magic mouse says the sphinx asks the riddle with two answers and of course it's telling you just uh, they're basically uh, denizens of this dungeon I will give everybody the answer to that ASAP so let's get to the uh, teleport area right now now we're officially on the other side so next step is to go through the uh, dungeon there's a door there so you enter this door get teleported again and you gotta navigate a mini maze through the sphinx well more like a bunch of doors and walls that's all bloody up I think that was alright that one looks like Jason had fun over there let's keep on going folks and I would say the design of this you know looks like it's the uh, catacombs from one but they did a great job in greater detail of uh, scaring the crap out of you that's right well, you're in an anti-magic zone that should automatically scare the crap out of you. And we are now officially teleported. So, we're on our way to see the Mr. Sphinx, so let's talk more about that. This is all about navigating through a long hallway. I would advise having a bard song on. I think it's Watchwood uh, Melody. is a great choice. I would not leave home without it. You can use the other bard songs too for combat if you want to switch. If your bard's high level enough or if your bard's a little bit low on the song number. Yeah, watch when melodies like your go-to song. Here's the good news about this dungeon. 
I don't think there's any darkness panels. I might be wrong. Or silent ones. So then again, yep, there's a secret way. At that point, I turn to that secret way you need to go. Yes, I'm running. My advice is, is if anybody's leveling this game legit from 1, then they reset themselves. I'd probably say at least level 50 plus. Now here's the Sphinx. Two answers here I will accept. Each is a creature of the crypt, name it. Wise one. W-I-Z-E space O-N-E. Wise one. Again, W-I-Z-E space O-N-E. Wise one. Now, because we gave that riddle, the uh, way is now open to level 2. This is just like OzCon. But, which more uh, anti-magic and evilness, so keep that in mind. Yes, we have to get back through this way, but we'll take this secret door and retake the uh, teleport. When we get teleported, we can go the other way. This is level 1, folks, by the way. Level 2 gets better and better. There's only two levels in this. That's the good news. bad news is the entire floor is rigged with anti-magic. So my advice going through this entire crypt is, is look for items that could uh, cast spells for you if you were in a fighting situation. Wiz Helms are alright. Master Wands you could farm here which does decent damage. Uh, harps are okay but they're not that great. I think there might be one or two healing items that are slightly better. Travel Helm's good but you need to type in the coordinates. Remember that folks? And Angar, Angar's or Anka's Eye is an excellent one that does batch spell. And of course you have a bard singing, I'll be great. So those are woods of wisdom, I want to give everybody that. And it looks like I think I just got us to level 2. Let me see here. Well, it looks like I'm at level 2. I thought we were already there, but there we go. We found the stairs. So here's a new goal for the next area, which is level 2, this area here. Goal 1, Vampire Dragon. He guards the snare. Goal 2, get through the bloody snare. I'm going to be honest with you, that one take me half the time as the uh, previous snare in Oscon, but still it wasn't that easy. I will give everybody a full solution on that. That's right. I'll even uh, put map numbers there to help everybody out. I'll even show everybody where to go to after you explore the room. Here's the thing also about the crypts here. Try to avoid traps. I'll tell you why. Again, stone possession, poison, or even uh, insanity, aka nuts. You don't want a trap to hit you on those. I'm going to roll the die and say, yeah, those are high level traps. So we're going to go towards the entrance of the room. I'll explain a little bit more. Here we go. Alright, we're at the Vampire Dragon Crypt entrance. We're going to run still, except for the Vampire Dragon. We need to fight him. I'm not sure if that, uh, release the lock for the snare to enter it, but it's best to kill it. So let's go slowly ahead. And since it detects some movement, that means the vampire dragon must be near. The devs did a great job of adding that in there. And it says something special near. The tomb of the vampire dragon, adventures beware. And now we're hitting a negative hit point panel. Uh, the sunscreen brow brings your party to hold you face one vampire dragon. All right, here's a deal about him real quick. Uh, you see the vampire dragon, if you're high level enough, I have 60, 70 uh, characters. My characters are Archmage level 13, which is basically equivalent of uh, 60 to uh, 70 characters. And we all have spell resistance, so we could rest this as a breath attack, and two of my characters have the breath ring, so we're covered for that. Yeah, see, he's breathing fire, and... Looks like my guys are missing. Not enough hit. And Stevie got a kill in with the uh, Death Dagger. Woohoo! Death Dagger for the win. And uh, Ring of Return, which is the uh, garbage version of that. Which you do return to the Adventures Guild, but you lose. So we're going to surge ahead to the Death Snare. That's our next goal. Uh, real quick about this Death Snare there are two mages in there blue and gray. There are four rooms. A uh, center is a spirit plate. Our first objective is explore. And the voice says, prepare for your death, O mortal fools. He's talking about the six death snare will be my end. Whoever's behind these death snares must be the uh, main bad guy. And we have 
886 seconds, so that's over 12 minutes most definitely, which is good. I'll probably say about 14 to 15 minutes tops to beat this. If we don't beat it, boom, we're charcoal. See, there's a spinner right there, but for now I'm exploring the room. That's the first thing you need to do is this time let's go fully in the explorer mode. Keep on going this way, snag, spinner's gone. So those of you who, at home who do not have spinner rings, guess what? You're really safe to really speed up the puzzle. At the time, I was having a little difficulty of figuring out the solutions, but here I'll tell you. This is the gray mage. You're supposed to visit him first. The game you uh, trice must commit. Trice must means three. So you gotta do this whole entire puzzle three times with the gray and blue mage. So that's the uh, start. So. For now, we're going to just get the uh, puzzle set up by figuring out what the blue and red is. Now, let's go to blue. I mean, blue and gray. A sequence loss must now be found. With that, I think I'll see you around. See, that's the blue mage. Now, to start the puzzle, you go there, gray mage, and then uh, number one. You need to go to. You have to keep on repeating the same garbage. Go here. Yep. And I'll set the time figuring these things out. That door is not locked. And if I remember right, I think I went. Yeah, I'm still worried about the time. I think I, was, I think I went um, top um, top um, we call it top left. Or I should say northwest. We'll just do by compass. The northwest room. There's northwest, northeast, southwest, southeast. If I think I remember right. No, I think I visit the guys again just to confirm. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you uh, go to the Grey Mage first. I was still exploring room at the time. Alright, this is what happens if you do it wrong. I'll show everybody. Yeah, you're go, supposed to go to Grey first. Yeah, it's the Southwest one I think we're supposed to go to first. And then Northwest, and then Southeast and Northeast. And you do that three times, it's all settled. Yeah, I think I ex yeah, lost my compass, but thanks to the uh, fifth one segment, boom. Uh, mistake. Seek knowledge near. You got that wrong. I just want to show everybody that. So, first solution is go to gray. Yeah, talk to the gray mage. And then, see, that door should disappear. I went to blue again just to restart the whole sequence. Yeah, that door disappeared I found now. So, I made a few mistakes already. It happens, so we'll go to the gray. Alright, here you go. We start the gray, you go to, uh... There you go, southwest. Yes, I think you got it. That's the right answer. You need to look for that. That's number one. Gray to number one. And we got 684 seconds left in the snare folks so that's where you go to first is that number one is gray then you go to blue which is number two which is uh northwest okay blue to uh, northwest we'll uh, say that I'll even put the coordinates for the door there yep you go north I think I was still contemplating contemplating yes I think you got it Next one I think is southeast, gray to southeast. Yeah, let's see. At the time I was still trying to figure things out. We got a little bit plenty of time, but still this room is so deadly it's not even funny. Yeah, here's a great one. Yeah, that door advantage because that's not the right solution. That'll be blue. Yep, go south, door appears. And yes, I think you got it. Next one's blue mage, so that's blue to uh North uh, east. So after that, you gotta repeat the cycle. Yeah, we're gonna get to them right now. It was a little bit take my time on the first one. Not good on a timer like this, but you never know. See? Alright, that's cycle one right there. We got two more cycles to go, so I'll speed up in a little bit more real quick. I'll tell everybody that a few times to get in their thick head. Now we're going to go back talking to Grey Mage, and we're going to do the cycle again. 
yeah that door ain't opening anytime soon and you go to number one which is a uh, southwest yep I think you got it. now you go back to blue we got 500 plus seconds left which is good and you go to number two which is a uh, northwest see the door appears that means you're on the right track Lake Simo most likely will not appear so be cautious now number three gray and if I think I remember right that is yep that is exactly southeast yep and keep again the right answer mistake means it's the wrong answer it's most likely a reset so keep that in mind now we go back to blue yes this is like repetitive it's like the alchemy one we did in uh, maze of dread enter that boom we're now officially on the last pile cycle go to number one which is a uh, southwest go to blue which is northwest pretty ingenious puzzle I say I bet you people bought the hint book for that yep and there we go now go back to gray and that should be southeast yeah it keeps on giving the same answer but ignore that just doing a uh, wrestling tag southeast boom last one's blue mage go to him and then go to the uh, uh, northeast room see Sequences lost, blah, blah, blah. We're going to find it. Now, we hit this square. Watch what happens. Your skills are surprising, if not incredible. And yet, the gray snare lies ahead. And after that, me. And there's a wand fragment segment. You got number six. I think that summons the bro brothers. I am not certain. And because we completed that snare, we got sent back to the start. That's a very nice uh, reward, I will admit. Since, since we got plenty of time, I'm going to show everybody an achievement I uh, gained and the last uh, town for the Destiny Stone. That's where we're going to go. But first, we're going to go hit up uh, the old sage for more answers. Now, we're going to go visit the sage to get the answer for the Destiny Stone. Again, that was a hint in um, Saradon's uh, workshop. That was probably should be used either for beginning game or your stumble where to go get the last uh, stone or segment, which is the destiny stone. So right now we're gonna go uh, looking for uh yep yeah, close by the sage again. Let's see what kind of wisdom um, it's gonna cost us dearly. There's the temple. Yeah, it's not fun at night, folks. Night's bad, real bad for uh, exploring. But there you go. Stage hut. And we type in Destiny Stone. That's about 230k. That's a lot. And he doesn't even tell you anything. Just gives you a little hint. I'm going to give everybody advice. The last two uh, ones, I, if you want to spend your money, go ahead, but you can get ripped off. So we're going to go uh, to the last town for the achievement. Uh, the citizen of uh, Kath is real easy. All you have to do is just visit the town and just enter it. Just go through the gate. And that's like a free achievement. Steam achievement. But I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of saved it for last to uh, give myself a mental note on what dungeons to somewhat hit in order. Even though I did one or two out of order for drops. So, alright. So this is the last town. You enter the gate, as you see before you. Alright, I'm contemplating, but still, there's, there's I think, six or seven towns. You uh, go visit each one, achievement pops, it's just like entering a dungeon in uh, the original Bard's Tale. Okay, you enter the sewers, boom, there's your achievement. See, boom, there's your steam achievement. You enter the last town, the to visit. Yeah, that's Colossus, uh, yeah, Colossi. Or I'm gonna call it the Destiny Stone Town. And Stevie hadn't been drinking in a while, so might as well give Stevie a drink. So let's keep going a little bit. By the way, the Destiny Stone is the final dungeon in the game, so I'll park my character there for the next video. Still, I would farm there for items instead of the Great Crypts. It's a great alternative choice. Well, that's all the time we have for today's video. Uh, this is Lord Fent signing off. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Laters all.